Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, we're going to prove that two to the n is bigger than n squared for n bigger than four. And we're gonna try to do it uh, with mathematical induction. Okay, that's the goal. So we can think of this as our statement, right? This is our, our statement. I'll call it S sub n, you can call it P sub n. It's our statement. And induction shows that a statement is true for all n. In this case, all n bigger than four. All right, let's do the proof, so proof. So I like to start my induction proofs um, by writing down the base case. So base case. The base case is the starting point, right? You show it's true uh, for the smallest uh, integer that you're working with. So in this case, the smallest integer we're working with is five, right? The smallest positive number um, bigger than four is five. So you have to show that S sub five is true. So you just have to show that this is true uh, when N is equal to five. Okay, so when N is five, let's write it down like that, N is five. Um, we have two to the five, right? So what is that? Let's see. So two to the five is 32, right? Okay, no big deal. What about this, right? Well, this 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 bad boy is going to be 25, right? Ah, beautiful stuff, right? It worked. This is bigger than this, right? So I'll say it, it seems kind of silly, but who cares? 32 is bigger than 25, boom. So that means that the statement is true when n is equal to five. So I'll even write it this time. So s of five is true. Boom, base case is proven. So the base case is pretty easy. Right? Most people can uh, do the base case. The hard part is the um, inequality part. All right, so now we have to do the induction hypothesis. That's pretty easy also. So the induction hypothesis is basically we assume that this statement is true for some positive integer greater than four. So I'm gonna write induction hypothesis. So induction hypothesis. I'll spell it completely, hypothesis is not Let's be pro to do it right. So suppose, so suppose, suppose that uh, this is bigger than this, right? So two to the K is bigger than K squared. And it's for some K bigger than four. And in this particular problem, these inequality problems, you're actually gonna use that very, very heavily. Um, so for some, K bigger than four. So we're actually gonna need this. I know a lot of times in induction proofs when you're first learning, it's like, you know, for K equals one is the base case and like you never use it again, really, right? Um, it matters, uh, it's, it's a big deal in this problem. All right, the induction step, the induction step. I like to break it up into three steps just for clarity. Uh, so the induction step, this is where we have to show that our statement is true when N equals K plus one, okay? So I'm gonna write down what we have to show. So it's really important to write claim before you do that so that the reader knows that you're not just like, oh, you know, so they know, the, so they know that you know what you're doing, right? Um, so claim, because this is what we have to prove. We technically can't write this down unless it's been proven. So we have to prove this. Um, just for our own benefit, we should multiply this out. It's pretty easy, right? You square the first one, you multiply these and double them, and then you square the last one. Okay, so that's what we have to prove. All right, so how do we do that? I don't know, let's just try. <laughs> so now we're just gonna try. So I'm gonna start with this, and I'm gonna try to show that it's bigger than this. We somehow have to use this and this, so it's just a matter of working through it. Let's do it. So we have two to the k plus one. Okay, so what do we do next? Well, we know we have to use this, right? So the natural thing to try, right, to try, is to write this as, you can write it like this, two to the one times two to the k, right? It's a clever algebra trick, right? Because when you multiply these, you, you add the exponents, right? It's one plus k or k plus one. So that's usually, no matter what you're doing, if you're doing an inequality proof, even similar to this one, right? It's a good first step. So now what do you do? You say, okay, um, you're trying to show it's bigger than this, right? And you have two to the K here. You have two of them though, right? You have two, two to the K here, okay? So here you have one of them. So what you can do is you can separate this. This is, there's two of these, so it's really two to the K plus two to the K. I'd say, why'd you do that? Because we have one of them here, right? Here we have two. So now we have two to the K plus two to the K is two times two to the K. Think of it like X, right? x plus x is 2x, x plus x is 2x. People have a hard time with this stuff. In general, these inequality proofs are extremely difficult. When I was first learning this stuff thousands of years ago, I didn't get it. I, I stayed up all night, I tried, I tried. I could never understand it, right? So hopefully it makes sense. So x plus x is 2x. Okay, two to the k is bigger than 
k squared. So you can put a greater than here. This is the part I used to have a hard time with. And you can just replace it. You're allowed to do that in math, okay? I used to not understand that. And we can do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and replace this one. I'm thinking we're not going to need any 2 to the k's anymore, right? Because there's none here. That's where we're going. So let's go ahead and replace both. I was only going to replace one, but I thought, wait, what am I doing, right? Like, we don't need these anymore, so we can replace them. Actually, I didn't even need to break it up like that. I could have just replaced this with k squared, and we would have had 2k squared. That would have worked as well. I could have, could have done this. That probably would have been easier. Uh, why didn't I do it? I, I don't think I've done this problem before, so it's, it's, I think I looked at it, but I don't think I've actually worked through it. We've got that. We've got this. So that's good, right? Um, we need to get 2k plus 1, so we somehow have to use uh, k uh, bigger than 4, right? We have to somehow use k bigger than 4. So I am thinking that uh, we can keep this k squared, right? And maybe we can replace the k with um, 16, right? Let's, let's see if we can do that. Um, so this is going to be plus, plus, um, hmm, I guess, uh, right, 16. 16. So we need to get uh, 2k plus 1. So how do we do that? Well, let's see. Um, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's, we need a k, right? So let's do this, right? That way we have a k, right? So, so now this is equal to, well, watch this. This is greater than, replace the k with a 4, right? Because k is bigger than 4. I almost messed up. So the reason I did that, I, I, I first I put a 16 there, right? But I'm like, wait a minute, that's not going to work, right? Because we need a K. Like if I put a 16 there, I place K with 4 and put a 16 here, um, we're not going to be able to get our K back, I think. I, I don't know. So I think this might work better. K times K is uh, K squared, and we can keep a K now. So you know, how does that help? Well, 4K, we can break it up using the same technique we did before. This is K squared plus 2K plus 2K. We got it now. But look, we got K squared plus 2K, K squared plus 2K. So I'm going to come back up here. This is greater than k squared plus 2k. Replace this k with 4, okay? So plus 8. 2 times 4 is 8. And now, that's hard, right? Uh, is this the best way to do it? I don't know, but I know 8 is bigger than 1. Boom, right? So brute force, right? Just This is just how you do it. Like if you've never done this before, this is probably how you would do it, right? I, I looked at this problem and I thought I could probably figure it out. Let me make a video. So you can rewrite it first. I broke it up because I figured we only need one of these, right? I didn't need to do that, right? I could have just done greater than 2k squared, but I thought I only want one, so let me break it up. So I broke it up, replaced it with k squared. I kept my k squared here. I kind of messed up here, but I fixed it, right? I was going to replace this with 16, but think about it, right? k squared is k times k, and we need a k. So you keep a k, right? Then you replace one of the k's with 4. They say, okay, 4k. Well, you only need 2k. So 4k is 2k plus 2k, right? And then you replace this k with 4, right? k is bigger than 4. It gives you 8, replace the 8 with 1, and this is equal to k plus 1 squared. So this thing is greater than this. So um, our statement is true for k plus 1. So s sub k plus 1, that's what it's called, right? s sub k plus 1 is true. And so therefore, you know, by PMI, by the principle of mathematical induction, our statement is true for all positive integers n bigger than 4. So by PMI, S sub n is true, right, for all n bigger than 4, right? Our statement is true for all n bigger than 4. Kind of a hard problem, and I, and I slipped up a little bit there, but uh, really tough, right? I think that was a pretty tough way to do it. Again, is that the best way? It's probably an easier way, right? But... I wanted to show you like the natural way to do it. Like if you sat down and you tried to figure it out, maybe this is how you do it. This is how I did it, right? This is like my first attempt, my first solid attempt uh, at this problem. And we did it and it's correct and it's a proof. So that's all that matters. Take care.